What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for our TCG deck profile video. Today on the menu we have a Zoroark with, of course, Galissapod. That's right, this is uh, the deck that won the internationals in London early on in the season when Zoroark just got revealed and this is going to be a post-rotation deck so you ha have an idea of what the deck looks like after uh, we lose a bunch of cards uh, when rotation takes place on the 1st of September. So, uh, as you know, Zoroark is uh, being very popular nowadays. It works well with Gardevoir, it works well with Macargo, it works well with Goliath support etc etc so today it's going to be a, a popular demand Zorwark Galisopod if you have another suggestion for a post rotation deck be sure to put it in the comment section below and we'll definitely take a look at it all right moving forward we're gonna have of course again with the, the Zorwark builds we're gonna have a 4-4 line of Zorwark GX the main draw engine of the deck you have of course the ability trade at your disposal for every uh, Zorwark you have on play you can uh, actually uh, use that ability you can uh, just discard one card from the hand and draw two and with that amazing draw power you can draw into your uh, basic grass energies for Goliath Sepal, your Guzma, your Acer Lolas etc. So again a 4-4 line of Zorwark again Zorwark can also uh, pack quite the punch it has of course the Righteous Beating dealing 120 damage if your bench is full or with a choice band 150 against EX or GX Pokemon so that is very Fantastic. So uh, the uh, secondary attacker is going to be Galisopod. We're gonna play a 2-2 line. It could be a ticker line of a Galisopod in here, like a 3-2 line, but I uh, definitely find the space to just include other cards uh, like Don's Parts, which we're gonna talk about later, because of course, I do think it's going to be very fitting here. There's a 2-2 line of uh, the Galisopod in here, because we don't have any puzzle of time, of course, to grab back uh, a missing piece, so it's going to be a consistent 2-2 line of Galisopod. Galisopod has the attack first impression, for a single grass energy you can deal 120 damage if you come from the bench so there's going to be a bunch of switching cards in here we're going to rely on Guzman and Ace Roll so it's going to be kind of a two-shotting deck I know two-shotting decks don't seem that uh, popular in the meta right now because Rayquaza is blowing everything up but we actually have a counter uh, actually a tech card against Rayquaza in this deck so uh, listen up folks the good thing about Wimpa that also also is that it has the Wimp out ability on the first turn it has free retreat which means we can free retreat into of course Dunsparce and Dunsparce has the strike and run uh, Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them directly on the bench. Then shuffle your uh, deck into yeah, yeah your hand into your deck. Or actually, what? Well, then shuffle your deck. Uh, if any of the uh, Pokemon you put on the bench, you can just swap Dawn Sparse with one of those bench Pokemon. So uh, this is going to be Bridget as an, in an attack form. So I was actually stumbling over my words here because Dawn Sparse is uh, reminding me a bunch of the old days. Uh, it's from the EX Sandstorm uh, reprint here. Strike and Run will be very efficient because we're also gonna run Tapu Koko. So we at least have three starter Pokemon to work with. If we start with Tapu Koko or Wimpot, we can easily uh, swap into Dunsparce. If uh, we don't draw into them, we can even use Guzma or Switching Cards, which we're also going to be playing in this deck. Tapu Goku is nice, flank flip, 20 on everything, smoothing out uh, the uh, damage on the opponent's side of the field so we can have one-hit KOs, but of course Zoroark or Galisopod, because uh, let's say you use flank flip and there's a Lele somewhere, well, Zoroark can then one-shot a Lele, which is awesome. And uh, flank flip also makes sure that we have that free retreat mechanic in order to have that uh, first impression uh, yeah, method going on so we can deal 120 damage. So strike and run also in here, done sparse, and then uh, there's going to be two more tech cards I'm going to talk about. First one is the Dene and the second one is the Oxus. So the Dene is awesome if you have a choice band and uh, Tapu Koko is on your bench, you're able to one-shot Rayquaza GX for a single double Karas energy. So as you see, all these tech cards only need double Karas energy or a Karas energy to attack, which is awesome. So Don Sparse to set our field up, uh, Tapu Koko, uh, if you want to have your combo, Didani and Tapu Koko here to one-shot Rayquazas. We do have Rescue Stretcher, so you can even reuse your Didani, which is awesome. So you can even uh, two-shot two of the Rayquaza GXs, because of course, uh, the uh, Glycepot also has uh, other attacks. You have Armor Press dealing 100 damage, and uh, uh, the opponent deals 20 less damage against uh, Glycepot uh, during their next turn. And you also have, of course, the Cross Card GX, which is able to deal 150 damage with a choice of 180. That can also one-shot things like a Rayquaza GX. So the, the Tapu Koko definitely necessary because uh, certain KOs you can never ever get. So uh, that's why we are running Tapu Koko, but also to have that uh, uh, attack of the Electrician uh, of uh, the Dene. We have to have a Lightning Pokemon on the bench in order for it to deal 60 damage for a single DCE. So that is going to be the tech cards. Deoxys, of course, uh, if Boswell is still big after rotation, we're gonna just punish the opponent uh, by playing uh, Deoxys. If they use B-String on the Boswell GX, well, with a choice band, we can easily one-shot, of course, Deoxys. Uh, not the uh, Boswell Jacks. 
And then to finish off the Pokemon line, we are gonna run three copies of Tapu Lele GX. Very simple deck. As you can see, there the Tapu Leles are there to just get out your uh, basic uh, supporters. You can just get out every supporter out of the deck. And uh, the Tapu Lele also has a bench hitter for uh, the Zoroark GX to use Righteous Beating. So that's why we're also running these deck cards. If they're all on the bench, they're all basic Pokemon. Doesn't even matter too much. Okay, we're gonna go into the supporters because Tapu Lele with the Wonder Tag ability can get out a supporter of choice. We have a couple of ones that you might want to get out on the first turn. We have Apricorn Maker, which we've seen before in the uh, Guard of War Zoroark list. And this time around, we're also gonna try out Lily because uh, one of the subscribers suggested that we're gonna try Lily. And uh, yeah, the white not put it in this deck. So uh, to first uh, start the uh, supporter lines, we're gonna have three Cynthia in the deck. Uh, I would run the 4 by the Zorwak trade, so we don't need uh, that much draw support. Uh, next up is going to be one copy of Lily. Uh, Lily is just great in the early phases of the game. Why is that? Because of course, if you have, it's your first turn, you can draw cards until you have 8. And if you use everything, let's say you bench a bunch of Pokemon, use Ultra Ball a couple of times, maybe some Nest Balls, uh, well then the Lily will definitely draw you into more cards and you p uh, might potentially hit more basic Pokemon or Nest Balls. So that's the reasoning behind that. There's also Tate and Liza, one copy of that in here. Why is that? Because uh, with Tate and Liza, you can also have that switch mechanic, which can be uh, uh, beneficial for your uh, Goliath GX to use the first impression once more then one copy of judge i might want to run more copies of judge but i'm just fine uh, if you're uh, running judge you just want to disrupt your opponent's hand you don't want to start with it uh, in the early phase of the game otherwise you judge yourself but it's just and those are occasions where the opponent is using trade, trade, trade and they have a bazillion amount of cards in the hand. With Judge you can make sure that their uh, hand size is a little bit lowered. And we're also going to run Talpad so you might even uh, yeah, get the chance to use it twice in a game. We're going to run two copies of Ace Rolla. Very, very fine in this deck. It's a two-shotting deck. And if the opponent is not one-shotting, you can uh, abuse Ace Rolla turn after turn. We're also going to run, as mentioned, Talpad so you can even put two Ace Rolla back in the deck which is awesome. Then of course Guzma, also one of those cards that works uh, for Goliath very well. You can use Use Guzma and just promote your Goliath spot on the bench to the active position uh, so have uh, that first impression attack 120 and Ace Rolla those two cards are just necessary in a Goliath spot deck even with Zoroark it's always amazing when you see something like Naganadel dealing damage against Zoroark well you can also abuse Ace Rolla on Zoroark it's amazing Next is one copy of the Mallow. This is just in the early phase of the game to find your puzzle pieces. <laughs> no, it's not puzzle of time, but you know, you want to have a double Kara's energy. You want to have uh, maybe a choice band, maybe a draw supporter. Well, Mallow can just get out your double Kara's energy and another card and put it on the top of the deck. So no Macargo in this list, but uh, we're do running one copy of Mallow together with, the, of course, Palpat. And then one uh, copy of the Apricorn Maker. I do enjoy Apricorn Maker because it can get out a bunch of, uh, yeah, again, get out two ball cards out of your deck. And we're running a bunch of ball cards. We have Nas Ball, Ultra Ball, Timer Ball again. So it's going to be the same method like with the Guard of War list. We're gonna run four copies of the Ultra Ball. This gets out everything, so that is very consistent. We're also gonna run three copies of Nas Ball to get our basic Pokemon out. So the thing I want to have most, if you go second, it's not that bad. Which means if you start with a Wimpod, you have access to Nas Ball, you can get out your Dawn Sparks, Treat and have your sort of Bridget mechanic with the strike and run attack. So it's not that bad to go in second. If you go first, uh, you can uh, even do some other things like uh, promote, use Lily, and hopefully you get a bunch of Nest Balls, or maybe use Apricorn Maker. It is still possible to get out a bunch of basics. The thing you want to have is a, a bunch of Zora GXs uh, uh, as soon as the second turn, so that's why we're running two copies of Timer Ball as well. Those Timer Balls will be necessary. Uh, of course to get out Zoroark. Uh, this is a little bit flippy because uh, for every head you can get out an evolution Pokemon uh, but at least 50% uh, of the time you will get at least one head which is awesome. Then some switching cards. We're gonna run a, sw a switch and an escape rope. Uh, as you see, these are all the options for Goliath to have that first impression going on. We're gonna have Escape Rope, which could be nice if you're stuck in the act, like let's say uh, with a Wimpod or a Deoxys that you don't want. Well, you can use the Escape Rope and then uh, you can have something from the bench be your active Pokemon. The opponent also has to switch, which could uh, work out in certain situations. A switch is just a manual switch. We are losing Floatstone, so we're gonna have to deal with it. One copy of Max Potion. This is also necessary to just uh, heal up the damage uh, while you're also using a supporter because Ace Rolla uh, takes up the supporter for the term. Sometimes you want to use Guzma, knock something out while using Max Potion, so that can uh, be the case. Also, one copy of the Rescue Stretcher because sometimes uh, one of the Pokemon might be prized or your tech cards, you want to uh, use them uh, once more. Let's say Didane. If it's in the discard, you can get it back with Rescue Stretcher. One Enhanced Hammer. The meta nowadays is uh, getting a little bit filled with uh, double cars energies. A bunch of Zorak decks are still going rampant. You can also get rid of the beast energy, so that is also a method. And the unit energies are also getting quite the hype nowadays. So Enhanced Hammer gets 
gets rid of those special energies quite easily. One copy of the Field Blower. Uh, I don't know if we want to add a second copy in because Floatstone is gone. We don't have to be afraid of Garbage Tox anymore, finally. And uh, I think one copy is just sufficient. We have to be afraid, of course, of the Shrine of Punishment, but in this deck, it's not even that necessary. We have Acer Wall to abuse uh, if the damage output is getting a bit too high. Then, and with, the, of course, Palpat, we can get all the supporters back so we can have a li li little bit of, uh, of uh, a loop with Acer Wall. Next is one copy of the Counter Catcher. Sometimes we're falling behind in prize cards. They're gonna maybe Jet Punch or uh, Sledgehammer away a Zorua. Well, we're behind in prize cards. We can get out, of course, with Mellow, a Counter Catcher, and we're gonna get back right on track. <laughs> Next is one copy of the Palpad. Palpad is kind of an interesting card. You can shuffle two of your supporters in the discard pile back into the deck, which is, can be amazing. You can get back a Mellow, a Guzma, a Cerola. In the late game, you probably want to get uh, two Guzmas back in the deck, but uh, if you want to abuse a Cerola, let's say if you're facing a bunch of spread decks, that could also be the case. Then, three copies of the Choice Band. Why are we running three copies of Choice Band? Well, just to make it a little bit simple, we have, of course, the Crosscut GX of the uh, Goliath Support. Well, that hits to 180 if you have a Choice Band. And that is a perfect number. We also need a Choice Band for the Dene in order. Dragon types will be coming a little bit more popular with all the Dragon Support and Dragon Majesty. So I do expect a bunch more Dragons in the, the tournament. So one copy of the Dene with Choice Band. That's all you need and a double Chorus Energy. You can maybe use Mellow, get your Dene and a, a double Chorus Energy. And uh, maybe you have a Choice Band in hand because we're running three copies then to finish off the list we're gonna run four copies of the grass energies i think four is a, a decent number in the past uh, some people might run three but we don't have puzzle of time or any energy re uh, recycler or anything for that matter no energy re retrieval so four copies it is so we can draw into the grass energies a little bit more quicker and if uh, you uh, use max potion it isn't that bad we have four attachments for grass energies and then to finish the list is going to be four copies of double carless energy. So that is going to round out the list of the exact 60 cards post rotation. Let me know what you think about this deck list in the comment section below. What would you change? Are you gonna run the tech cards? Do you wanna discard, or of course, the Deoxys? Are you gonna play the Denny? Is Rayquaza even popular in your uh, local area? Let me know in the comment section. And also, uh, what do you think? Apricorn Maker, maybe two Lilies, maybe two Apricorn Makers, maybe another Nazball. I would love to know your opinion. We do run Dunspar, so I don't think it's necessary to run more uh, Apricorn Makers, so. That's going to be the deck list for today. Uh, let me know in the comment section as well what you want to see next. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to demolish the like button as usual and subscribe for more content like this. I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.